The new Columbia Boone County order that took effect yesterday states that pools, splash pads, parks, and playgrounds may reopen as part of the return to normal summer activities. ABC 17's Amber Tabling is live in Columbia tonight. And Amber, you spoke with local experts about what people can do to stay safe while having fun this summer. And Deborah, I did speak with Micah Griggs, the director of Columbia's Parks and Recreation today, and I also spoke with Bridget Gruinder, a physician at Liberty Family Medicine, and they said the best way to stay safe this summer is to continue doing things people have been doing for the last few months. So if you'll take a look at your screen right now, you'll see these are the recommendations for pools and splash pads. So bring and use hand sanitizer frequently, practice good hand hygiene, and maintain that six feet distance that we keep hearing, and avoid overcrowded areas. Now, Greg said Columbia Parks and Rec Pools will limit the number of people inside by enforcing two-hour sessions. Greg said when Albert Oakland Pool opens up on June 12th, people can swim from noon to two, then the pool will temporarily close as employees sanitize everything. Then the pool will reopen again for another two hour session from 2.30 to 4.30 and then close and sanitize again. Greg said the deck's furniture will be removed and people are asked to bring their own pool furniture. For the pools that do not have lifeguards, only 25 people will be allowed. And even though the water is chlorinated, social distancing is still key. You're not under the water the whole time you're in the pool. They say chlorine kills it. So if you go under the water and somebody goes under the water somewhere else, theoretically there's not going to be a spread there. But if you're standing in the water and somebody else is standing within six feet of you also in the water, but their head is out, then it's obviously going to be transmissible that, that way. And lots of hand washing is also an important key moving forward this summer as well as you get out and start having some summer fun. Now later at six, we'll dive deeper into what the local experts say safety precautions are there for playgrounds. Live in Columbia, Amber Tabling, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Amber. Columbia Parks and Recreation officials said they are short staff right now. The Albert Oakland pool will have lifeguards and will open, but the lack of lifeguards could have an effect on whether or not other pools will reopen this summer.